A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim So in the Quran Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said Kullu nafsin za'iqat al-maut All souls shall taste death The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Even Jibreel will die Can you imagine that? The Prophet said After the horn is blown And the only ones that stand Illa man shahar book the ones who your Lord willed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have in front of him Jibril, Israfil, Minkail, and the angel of death, Azrael. And Allah asked the angel of death, Who remains? And the angel of death will say, O oh Allah, your noble face, you are here, Abduka, me, I am here. Abduka Jibril, your servant Jibril, Abduka Minkail, your servant Minkail, and your servant Israfil. They are going to be the last standing fight. Allah says, Take the soul of Minkail, and Minkail's soul is taken from him. Then Allah says, Who remains? He said, Ya Allah, you, you are here, me, Jibril, and Israfil. And Allah says, Take the soul of Israfil, and the Israfil's soul is taken from him. And he says, Who remains? And the angel of death says, Wajhuk al Karim, your noble face, Abduka, me, for Abdul Kajibreel, the servant Jibreel. They were the two last standing souls. Allah says, Take the soul of Jibreel. The Prophet said, Jibreel would fall on his face and his wings would spread out to glorify in Allah. He would die in Tasbih. SubhanAllah. His face hits the ground as he makes Tasbih to Allah. Then Allah says, who remains? And the angel of death says, It's you, you and me. Now, isn't this funny? Even the angel of death will die because Allah said, Kullu nafsin za So far, there is soul in you, one day you are going to taste death. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the angel of death, Die. And the angel of death dies. Then Allah will say, Kullu man aliyafan. Every single person perish. And only the noble face of your Lord remains. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would ask himself To whom belongs the dominion of today? Where are the oppressors? Where are the dictators? Where are those people who used to kill innocent people? Where are your kings today? Allah then says to himself In the million of today is to Allah, the one, the subdued. Now on the day of judgment, the Prophet wasallam said, as we all come back, the Prophet said, the earth is flattened out of the glory and obedience to Allah. And he says, every single person will not be able to move from the spot that they are standing in the place of assembly. And he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I would be the first person to be called to Allah. And he said, I would enter upon Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And I would fall in prostration. And he said, Summa arfarasiya. And I would then raise my head. Faiza Jibril an Yameen Rahman. And suddenly, I will see Jibril on the right side of the most merciful, subhanAllah. 
So the prophet is telling us on this nation that that exact time that the that Jibril was resurrected, he has no knowledge about it. So the prophet said, Wallahi ma ra'ahu qablaha. I swear by Allah, he never saw him before that day. Then the question arises, who never saw who? It's Jibreel. He has never seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the day of judgment, that would be the first time that Jibreel would actually lay his eyes on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahi ma rahahu so when the Prophet sees him, he points to him saying, Ya Rabb, inna haza akhbarani annaka arsaltahu ilayhi. He says, Oh my Lord, this one told me that you sent him to me. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Sadaqt. Allah, Sadaqt. The same way Jibreel said to the Prophet وسلم, in one of the hadith, so that's if you talk to us. But the question is, why does the Prophet choose to do that on the day of judgment? That is because on the day of judgment, every single messenger is being asked whether he delivered the message or not. So Prophet Muhammad وسلم, vouches for Jibreel even before he is asked. And that is who our Prophet is. Oh Allah, he said, you sent him to me. He did his job. And Allah says, Sadaqat. So